Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Cappies, what is going on for December 2020? This is your monthly reading. It is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It might not be your story. Of course, feel free to check out your other placements if you like. This one is focusing on my Cappies. Anyone with strong Capricorn in their chart, this one's for you. I want to get your current energy energy of the um, person, people, situation surrounding you, overall outcome, maybe some advice for the rest of December. Ten of Pentacles wanting to pop out there, which is really nice. Um, I feel like a lot of uh, Cappies have been working very hard this year. So hopefully that um, is indicative of some success coming in. Let's see. If you like the reading, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel I really appreciate it feel free to leave a comment as well I do read the comments try to reply to most of them if not all of them we're gonna stop there we've got the seven of wands and the four of wands we've got the world queen of cups five of cups empress energy interesting we've got the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck there um, any other advice any other messages for my cappies please for december 2020 any other advice positive affirmations anything else cappies need to know we've got king of earth there beautiful and bottom of the deck is the king of air two kings interesting um sometimes that could be a bit of a choice that's a funny one. Right under that is the Queen of Air. So I feel as though um, there is a true pair here, um, Capricorn. There is a true, um, there's a true kind of partnership here with, with this kind of energy. But there's also possibly a choice between two. Um, and there might be a little bit of a, a little bit of a temptation or a, or a little bit of a, yeah, lots of options, basically, and trying to figure out what the best one is. That might be the story for some of you. But yeah, we do have a, a true pair here, which is very, very interesting. Um, someone that you're surrounded by, this could be a Cancer um, or a Water Sign, Scorpio Pisces, someone with those placements in their chart, could also be a Fixed Sign um, here with the World card. doesn't have to be. Um, someone surrounding you is coming to a little bit of a realization. And I feel like there's a big kind of softening of their energy. It's really interesting. Because there's been a bit of defensiveness and there's been a little bit of conflict here. This is your energy, Cappies. This is your energy. So something has got you on the back foot a little bit. Something's got you a little bit unprepared. Um, something has, um, yeah, something made you a little bit defensive or will make you a little bit defensive in the month of December. And it's caused a little bit of arguing, uh, arguing sorry, and a little bit of conflict. I feel like, again, just coming through intuitively, this is someone that a person, something that a um, person you're dealing with said or did, which came as a little bit of a shock, came a little bit unexpectedly to you this month. And it just got you a little bit defensive. And it almost made you reevaluate. And it almost made you think that um, something was kind of, something was almost um, irreparably lost in the situation. But I don't think that's the case. I think there's going to be a turnaround. But something actually got you quite upset, probably more upset than what you want to admit or than what you will admit to this person. But something upset you deeply. But it's interesting because I feel that as a result of that, as a result of your defensiveness, I like the seven of wands sometimes because to me, it's also a card of really sticking up for what you believe in. And 
I feel like there is a very strong energy around you and you're not giving into it. You're staying true. You're sticking to your guns. You're staying true to what it is that you want, what your values are. You're not going to let someone... Um, you're not going to let someone tell you what it is to what it is that you want, what it is that you're going to do. You're not going to let someone talk down to you. Someone did upset you though. Someone did upset you though. With all this air energy, you could be dealing with an air sign as well, potentially. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius doesn't have to be, but whatever the case may be. Um, something did upset you, ruffled your feathers a little bit, but you stayed you stayed true to yourself and you. Even though it kind of got you on the back foot and you were a little bit unprepared, you were a little bit unprepared, I feel like you still held your own. And it's actually going to result in a deepening of the connection between you both, believe it or not. I think it's going to actually... Um, it's going to help you both come to a little bit of an understanding. For some of you, this could be a work situation as well. There could be a bit of a disagreement at work or something, or you had to really stand your ground on something at work. And it's actually going to work out in your favor. It's going to work out in your favor. With the four of wands here, we've got... Um, beautiful card of stability celebration success moving in together moving house building a solid foundation for the future beautiful energy in this card for everything for work for um for career for moving um and for relationships as well so if this is some kind of disagreement or some kind of conflict where you have really had to hold your ground strong, um, that's going to work out in your favor. So good on you. Good on you, Cappies, for sticking up for what it is that you believe in and not letting someone talk down to you. I feel like the it did upset you. I, I'm not going to lie and say that you know this person just couldn't get you down at all. You were upset. You were upset by something. You were grieving the loss of something. You were very disappointed in something. You were disappointed in the way something went down, but you were able to turn it around and this person respected that. This person actually respected how strong you were or how strong you will be if this hasn't happened yet. Your strength is, is, is very admirable. You've really stuck to your beliefs. The outcome will surprise you because... Um, this person is then going to take a take a bit of a step back and stability is going to be achieved again which is very very nice energy surrounding you we have the world and the queen of cups here i feel there's going to be a big big turnaround in a situation and there's going to be some kind of some kind of big movement to the next chapter the next level of a situation and like I said there's going to be some kind of a softening on this person's part I feel like this connection with this person has been a little bit slow to get off the ground here with the knight of pentacles um it's been a little bit slow to get off the ground and that's maybe also made you question things sometimes just because of the the speed that it's going at but the knight of pentacles is solid you know the, the offer's there it's a solid offer it's just a little bit slow moving typically <laughs> um that can be frustrating but at least it's real at least it's something solid and real. You've had to show a lot of inner strength. You've had to really, um, yeah, show a lot of um, patience and strength with this person in this situation to kind of get through it. You could have met your match in some ways, Cappies. I feel like you've, um, you've kind of met your match in a person in terms of they're just as strong as you maybe in a different sort of way 
And so you've had to show a lot of restraint. You've had to show a lot of inner strength when you're dealing with this person. But something got you, something triggered you. And, um, and you, you sort of broke down a little bit. You couldn't stay silent anymore on something. This person's energy is going to actually soften up. This person has a lot of deep emotion for you. Intuitively, they know that this is a very important connection for them. Intuitively and emotionally, this person has those feelings there for you. They have that sense that this is that important connection. This is that kind of soul level, true partnership type connection. And they're going to want to take things to the next level. They're going to want things to grow now, to become a little bit more abundant, maybe to move in together, maybe to finally take that next step. But I do feel like just in general, this is a very slow moving individual. I think you've met your match in someone um, here, Cappies, because we've got these two kings here. That's what initially wanted to come out here with the king of earth and the king of air. And king of earth being your sort of earth energy. Um, I feel like, again, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with strong air in their chart. So this is someone who um, really matches you in terms of the intellect here. Um, and it's possible that it's possible that something they've said, because sometimes I feel like they can be a little bit harsh in the way they communicate things, something in what they've said has um, caused a reaction from you and caused a complete turnaround in this situation. But it's interesting because um, they're aware of how you two interact with one another now, and they're actually going to soften their approach a little bit, I feel. And it's going to allow this kind of um, this kind of partnership to really get off the ground. I feel like this is probably someone you've known um, for a, for a bit of time. I don't think it's a completely new connection. I just feel like there's been a bit of a budding of the of the heads, and finally, it's it's going to sort of soften a little bit and. And move or transform toward to, to that next level. I feel like you're dealing with someone, Cappies, who really doesn't um, take commitments lightly, who really thinks a lot before they enter into something. And I feel like you don't want to make a mistake either with this person. And you're questioning whether or not the personality clashes um, are going to be like workable in the future. But I think you're actually going to come to a good understanding. And I think both of you. Um, given the, the conflicts that you have, I feel like you both actually learn from it and you can adapt um, your behavior and you're smart enough, you're both smart enough to kind of compromise and adapt your behavior to, to one another. So it means that things actually grow, the relationship actually um, improves um, rather than staying stagnant and rather than, you know, you, you have the same sort of conflicts over and over again. It's not going to be like that. It's actually going to move to that next level because the, because both of you um, have learned something from this disagreement that you've had and you've both been able to adapt your strategy a little bit and come to a more kind of mutual understanding of one another. So that's really nice. I hope you enjoyed that reading, Cappies. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching.